Now let's learn how to convert from fraction to decimal. In our previous video, we understood about the zeros at the bottom. So now we know that if we have two zeros at the bottom, then we have to start counting two digits from right to left and then put the point. So we have two, two zeros at the bottom. We have to start counting 1, 2 and then put the point. Our answer is 0.26. But we can't write our answer like this. We don't have any whole number before the point, before the decimal. So we should write 0 and our answer is 0 0.26. Next we have 7 is to 3 by 100. Here 7 is the whole number and 3 by 100 is the fraction which comes after the point. So we write 7 as it is. Then we put a point and now we will convert this fraction into decimal. We know that we have two zeros at the bottom. So first we have to convert this 3 into 2 digit number. So con to convert this 3 into 2 digit number we put a 0 before 3. Then we start counting from right to left. We have 2 digits for 2 zeros and then we'll put the point. 1, 2 and then we'll put the point. So our answer is 7 and then point zero three. Let's take some more examples. We have 3 is to 4 by 1000. 3 is the whole number so we will write 3 as it is. Then we will put a point and then we convert this fraction part into decimal. We have 3 zeros at the bottom so let's make this 4 a 3 digit number by putting 2 zeros in front of it. Now we have 0, 0, 4. So for 3 zeros we have 3 digits 1, 2, 3 and then we will put a point. So our answer is 3.004. Next we have 9 by 10. We have 1 zero at the bottom so count 1 digit. We have 1 digit so 1 digit and then put a point. Our answer is 0.9 but we can't write 0.9 because we need to put some whole number here. If we don't have any whole number we put a 0. So our answer is 0 0.9. Next we have 2036 by 1000. We have three zeros at the bottom so let's count three digits and then put a point. 1, 2, 3 and then put a point. Our answer is 2.036. I hope you understand how to convert fraction to decimal. Now let's learn how to convert decimal to fraction. When we have a decimal number, we know that before decimal it is the whole number and after decimal it is the fraction. So we will write 1 as a whole number. And now we will convert this 0.13 into a fraction. 0.13 means that at the bottom of 13 we have two zeros. That's why it is after 3 and 1, two digit, we put a point. So we will write 13 at the top and at the bottom we should write two zeros. So our fraction is 1 is to 13 by 100. Now let's convert 0 0.008. Here this 0 means we don't have any whole number. So we just need to convert this fraction part. This is 0 0.008 means we should write 8 at the top and at the bottom we should write three zeros because after the decimal point we have three digits so we write eight by thousand now we have four point zero five four is the whole number so we will write four 
here and now we will convert 0 0.05 into fraction 5 we should write at the top and because after the decimal point we have two places it means we need to write two zeros at the bottom it means it should be 100 our fraction is 4 is to 5 by 100 next we have 10.9 10 is the whole number so we will write 10 here after the point whatever is the number we will change it into fraction so we will write 9 here and then after decimal it is just one number so we should be having just one zero at the bottom it means the number should be just 10 here in this example 8 actually means 0, 0, 8, but 0, 0, 8 is equals to 8, so we write just 8 by 1000. And here in the next example, this 5 is actually 0, 5, but because 0, 5 is equals to 5, so we just write 5 by 100. But suppose uh, here and in, in this example, 8 by 1000, if we have the number like 0.208 now we can't ignore this zero so we have to write the whole 208 here and then the fraction is 208 by 1000 it is 1000 still because after the point we have just three digits it means at the bottom we should be having three zeros which makes it 1000 so answer is 208 by 1000